What is up guys? So I didn't plan on filming today, but I figured might as well since I'm down here for a little bit. So I finally picked up something I bought a long time ago and they're all clear coop tails. My buddy imported a whole pallet of these a while ago and uh, they got sold out pretty quick and I happened to grab a pair before they did. And uh, I think today we're gonna test fit them. I think Don's excited, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited because they're gonna look great on your car. So these are actually like a real name brand taillight. These are, uh, I think they're made by June, right Don? Is that the right way to put it? And they make really overpriced parts for a lot of other cars, but I'm stoked. I really like, I, I really wish they were more of a diffuse lens, um, like, like this style lens, because that looks a lot cleaner in OEM. But these are cool in the sense of like a Japanese styling. Now with these, there is a fine line between rice and hot boy. And hopefully we're, we're not going to stay on that rice line, so. But you know what? They're worth a test fit, and I'm excited. What do, you, what do you think? They look tits, dude. They do look good. Tits? i got to close the trunk. That does look really good. Dude, that's kind of cool. What do you mean that's kind of cool? That looks so good. It definitely changes, like, a, a whole look of the whole car. <laughs> like, that throws me off like crazy, though. Oh, that's the right angle right there. Bam. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of feeling them. I'm, I'm really liking them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Try to not be too harsh on the comments. <laughs> Don likes them though. You tell like number one. <laughs> so what is going on guys? So today I got a little late start, just not feeling up to it today. But today I want to go through everything, make sure my car is all good after the drift event. It felt like my tie rods, my inner tie rods actually got a little loose towards the end, which is a really common problem when you run rack spacers, but it's whatever. I want to inspect my exhaust because I was hitting it a lot at the event. Um, got to figure out how I can get this tire to actually seal on the rim because it was leaking really bad at the event and I really have a decent amount of tread left tonight and I want to make it worth it. And then probably change my alternator since I knew I, I need to put one in and uh, yeah, whatever else pops up. So I walked in today, forgot that I put these tails on and I'm actually like falling in love with them. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks so good. I. I don't know, it's very borderline ricey, but I, I really dig in it. Let me guys know. Looking at my car, I uh, just trying to make sure everything's all set up through the event. My exhaust took a pretty good hit. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right here, the resonator, I've been scraping the living crap out of, and I actually tore my little um, flex pipe in the middle because the exhaust hangs so low. As you can see, it goes lower than the frame rails. So it takes a lot of abuse. So, so I think later in this week, Justin and I are gonna put it up on the lift and to remake the hanger so it sits even higher because it's just it's dragging way too much even at this raised height so and the other thing that's driving me absolutely insane is if you guys watch the drift day video you realize that one of my wheels was leaking and i had to pump it up almost literally every lap if not every other lap and then my spare set that i actually had here one of the wheels is leaking too so i have two different wheels on the rear right now just to have it on a car so i have two good sets of tires but they're useless because one leaks on each set. So I think this, if I de-beat it and clean the lip up, I think it's just all this spray paint that's chipping off, got wedged between the bead. I think this will be easy. The other wheel, however, might be a little bit harder. I don't know why it's not sealing. It seems like after we powder coated these wheels, it's having a really hard time sealing any type of tire onto these wheels. So I don't know what's gonna happen. So maybe just a crap ton of bead sealer and I'll make it work. All right, well, I've been so bad at filming today, but stuff is happening. What are you doing, Chip? Trying to clean your botch. Well, in the meantime, I really wanna use these tails for a little while so they look on the street and I need red bulbs in them to, so they're actually legal because using all clear bulbs is just not legal. So it comes with two red bulbs for the brake lights, but I need them for the running lights also and I could not find them in store anywhere. So I'm gonna improvise and use this. And uh, we're gonna see how it works. I don't know if it's gonna work well just because the bulbs do get kind of hot I don't know if this will kind of like ruin the finish on it But it's worth a shot Jip. I didn't know they made red nightshade. Yeah special order That's what I use to make my all clear uh, all red tails For the coupe special order At Advanced now they used to sell this in store everywhere and then they like pulled it so you can like only get on eBay now Do you have a passcode like you go to the guys at the counter like yo, I need some of that red they're like, how many cans? It comes out. It, it comes at your package, like a smelly proof bag and everything. So we're. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh my god. So I'm gonna take these clear bulbs and uh, do them yeah. red. <laughs> do them red and see how it works. All right. Lesson learned. This stuff does not stick well to glass. So probably gonna rock these in the meantime and then just order them. I think they're like 30 cents a bulb online. So. 
You two are having an Ollie contest over here. Ollie North, Ollie. An Ollie North contest. Well, I realized this wouldn't be that bad if I just sprayed with the bulbs like sitting up instead of hanging. Because when you hang them, it kind of all accumulates on the top of it and it looks like butt. So if you were to like sit them in something, it probably wouldn't be that bad. I'm going to stop being lazy. I'm going to put this alternator in. So what are you doing here? I'm grabbing your compressor. I'm stealing it again. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Let's start At least go. You're nice enough to go fund me. Right? Get Camel <laughs> <laughs> compressor. Where is it? It's over there. Thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome. Not bad. So, if anyone cares who has an SR, it's a lot easier to take it off with the bracket still on it. I found that out last time. So, so this is surprising. This one actually looks like kind of new. Whatever. Uh, I just threw the bulbs in. They're not as bright as I was expecting them to be. I mean, my voltage is really low because I'm on a jump pack, but here's the running lights, and you can't really see because there you go, and there's brake lights. So it looks pretty cool. I like it. Heckelman's approved. <laughs> Dumbing. Is that, is that a yes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So a lot of you guys probably knew this, but I didn't. Uh, I just Googled it, and they actually have LED versions of these bulbs, and they're way brighter than this, and you won't really see the red like you do right now. Even though it doesn't really look like bad, but it'd be kind of cool not to see that. Just keep it all clear. So I'm probably going to order those. They're actually really, really cheap too, so they'll be sweet. I really hope you like these taillights because I'm loving them, and I'm usually not really for this style of taillight at all. I really want to start my car and make sure the alternator is all good by checking the voltage on it, but of course, both my batteries are dead from the drift event. Pain in the ass. Like always... So I'm gonna head on to Justin's shop, see if I can throw one on his battery charger, and then in the meantime, run down to Haggard's and see if I can get this tire off and flipped and see if I can get this stop leaking. Might not happen because their tire machine does not like 40 wall tires, but we will find out. All right, so I just got the Haggard's. What's up, Cam? Hi, Jimmy. And so we're gonna try and use our tire machine. Um, I just debeated the rim so you could see why I think it was leaking. As you can see, there's paint, if it, if it will focus, there's paint all inside here that's been kind of just scratched and scuffed up. Um, and I think some of these paint chips got in between the tire and the rim and that's what caused air to leak because it doesn't really take much. Probably why I was leaking. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm gonna try and sand a lot of this away and see how that works. As you can see, someone just kind of spray painted it quickly and so, well it's actually kind of nice paint, it's really thick and I think that's the problem. It was getting stuck between the rim. So we're gonna try and get most of it off to prevent leakage in the future. All right, so it went on with no problem. So, and now it's not leaking anymore. So I think we're all set. So I didn't bring the other tire. I really wish I did. Uh, so I'm gonna get it probably either later tonight or tomorrow and flip it. So as you can see, yes, my alignment is off. I don't have much camber, so it's really the toe that's really screwing me. So I'm gonna redo my alignment in the rear, make sure I get as much of my tires as physically possible because that's a lot of money and uh, we should be all set. So thank you again, Haggard, for letting me use your tire machine. I just got my battery back from Justin. Thank you again for charging that for me, bud. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna run the car now and test my alternator to make sure my this new alternator is good. <laughs> All right, so if, if anyone is curious on how to test an alternator, it's very, very easy. So there is a positive terminal coming off your alternator. Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's right down there. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your positive end of your voltmeter, put it on that, and then take your negative end and put it on some type of ground on your engine bay. Use like a, a strut bolt works or something like that. So we're gonna test that right now. As you can see, it is about 14.28 volts, which is fantastic. So that is definitely in the range of what you want it to be. You really want it to be at least over 13. That would really do it. So I think this would be considered a good alternator. So if you're feeling lazy, you could test at your battery terminals. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it'll usually get the job done. But for the most accurate reading, test directly at alternator. So the tire no longer leaks air and the alternator is charging perfectly fine. So now the last thing I really have to do is make my exhaust set up a little bit higher and the car should be all set for this weekend, which is fantastic. Uh, it's nice having a very stress-free week in terms of my car when it comes to the next drift event, which is this Saturday. So I'm super excited about that. So let me know once again let me, what you guys think about the taillights i'm super pumped on them uh they look amazing especially with the v with the wheels that i have in the back right now i think it looks fantastic so we shall find out let me know today was a lazy day down here at the shop but we still got a few things done and i got what i wanted to get done in the s13 which is really all that matters so i am gonna call it a night tonight i'm really in a building kind of mood this week so i'm, I'm gonna probably go down to logan steel again get some metal and we'll fab up something pretty cool so i'm excited if you guys any have any suggestions on any cool things we can make let me know because 
I would love to have some ideas from you guys on what you guys might want to see. So on that, guys, if you guys would love a Grom yourself, because me and Drew literally are on this thing half of our day, <laughs> um, there is a chance to win. Uh, Hagger and I are doing collab, as you guys did not know, uh, and we're doing a mint pineapple t-shirt, and each purchase of a t-shirt gives you two drawings and a possible giveaway for a Honda Ground for your very own self, so I'll put that link in the description. I did drop my very own line, uh, more designs coming very soon, but in the meantime we have a pineapple tea, so I'm going to put that in the description also. So, hopefully we do a few cool things tomorrow, so you guys know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. No. You tell like number one. <laughs> so what is going on guys? So today I got a little late start, just not feeling up to it today. But today I want to go through everything, make sure my car is all good after the drift event. It felt like my tie rods, my inner tie rods actually got a little loose towards the end, which is a really common problem when you run rack spacers, but it's whatever. I want to inspect my exhaust because I was hitting it a lot at the event. Um, Got to figure out how I can get this tire to actually seal on the rim because it was leaking really bad at the event and I really have a decent amount of tread left tonight and I want to make it worth it and then probably change my alternator since I knew I, I need to put one in and uh, yeah, whatever else pops up. So I walked in today, forgot that I put these tails on and I'm actually like falling in love with them. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks so good. I... I don't know, it's very borderline ricey, but I, I really dig in it. Let me guys know. Looking at my car, I uh, just trying to make sure everything's all set through the event. My exhaust took a pretty good hit. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they're worth a test fit, and I'm excited. What do, you, what do you think? They look tits, dude. They Can look good. I gotta close the trunk. That does look really good. Dude, that's kinda cool. What do you mean that's kinda cool? That looks so good. It definitely changes like a, a whole look of the whole car. <laughs> like. That throws me off like crazy though. Those are? Oh, that's the right angle right there. Bam. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of feeling them. I'm, I'm really liking them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Try to not be too harsh on the comments. <laughs> Don likes them. What is up guys? So I didn't plan on filming today, but I figured might as well sit down here for a little bit. So I finally picked up something I bought a long time ago and they're all clear coop tails. My buddy imported a whole pallet of these a while ago and uh, they got sold out pretty quick and I happened to grab a pair before they did. And uh, I think today we're gonna test fit them. I think Don's excited, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited because they're gonna look great on your car. So these are actually like a real name brand taillight. These are, uh, I think they're made by June, right Don? Is that the right way to put it? And they make really overpriced parts for a lot of other cars, but I'm stoked. I really like, I, I really wish they were more of a diffused lens. Um, like like this style lens because that looks a lot cleaner in OEM but these are cool in the sense of like a Japanese styling now with these there is a fine line between rice and hot boy and hopefully we're, we're not going to stay on that rice line so but you know what